Alright, so now that we do have the uh, list of products already na nakita natin sa ginawa natin on the uh, previous lesson when we do a product research, um, we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 products na pagpipilian natin dito. And ang gagawin natin dito, we will narrow down these products uh, until uh, meron tayong isang mapili na isusource natin sa China and maghahanap tayo man ng uh, manufacturer para sa specific product na yun. But for now, kagaya nga sabi ko, we will narrow this down and um, let's see kung anong magandang product na pwede nating makita. Alright? So, iisa-isahin natin to. Um, the first one is silicone travel uh, foldable kettle. So, tingnan natin. Um, ito yung product link niya. Let's see. So, ito yung magiging parang uh, disenyo ng product. This is a uh, silicone collapsible kettle. Maganda yung product, but the only uh, uh, thing na parang medyo merong konting disadvantage is that uh, related siya some, uh, something sa, ano, sa electric. Kumaga merong mga electronic parts na dapat mong pag-ingatan dito which is gaya nga ng sabi ko para, para sa mga seller na magsisimula pa lang as much as possible if hindi sila expert sa mga ganitong bagay iwasan muna nila yung mga product na medyo merong mga uh, you know kasamang uh, electronics kasi that is very very ano prone to uh, customer returns or yung isa sa uli ni customer yung prada kasi merong uh, defecto or something right but still let's try to check ang um, price niya on average $36 monthly revenue on average medyo mababa and etc so tingnan natin search natin yung main ano niya keyword punta tayo sa amazon.com ayan and then mano-mano natin titingnan yung mga numbers niya all right then search tingnan natin baka ng konti then ito yung mga design tingnan natin ito magandang idea to this is a different design which is mas malinis siyang uh, tingnan however the difference is medyo makapal siya ng konti kumpara dito sa isang uh, design na ito so those are the things that you should consider as well. How you can differentiate your products among the uh, competitors. The price point is, you know, that's given. Maganda yung price point niya. Pasok sa ating parameters. And, tingnan natin. All of them are almost the same or identical yung ano nila. Mm, designs. Tingnan natin yung ano, numbers. Kung anong pwedeng mabigay niya. Gamitin natin ng helium 10 chrome extension and itong x-ray. Alright? Then, tingnan natin kung may magandang numero. So, ayan. So, ganyan ginagawa natin. Uh, sort out natin yung revenue from highest to lowest. Click lang natin. And then, remove yung mga sponsored products. Kasi hindi kasali yan. So, tinan lang natin yung ano niya. Parang overview niya. So, first thing natin yung revenue. Yung revenue niya, um, itong seller na ito, yung brand na Gormia, they are making 46.42 on average uh, per month. And the next one is, uh, malayo, napakalaya na ng deferensya nila, which is 17 and then 13, 8, 7, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And yung iba, hundreds of dollars na lang. So, basically, itong seller na ito are actually making most of the sales. And then, check natin yung um, review count, 791, 760, which is, this is something na napaka ano, na, competitive. Kung maga parang sa mga ganitong klase na reviews, kung titingnan natin to yung reviews nila, 
parang proven and tested na yung product nila in terms of uh, quality and price that the customer are paying for sa kanilang product which is itong uh, silicone collapsible uh, kettle. Tingnan natin yung review. So, i-assume ko na na maganda yung review nila. At least majority 5 star yan. Meron pa silang enhanced brand content. So, big sabihin medyo may kakayahan talaga sila. Yung reviews, asa na? Nawala. Ayan o. Oh. 78% nila is 5 star reviews which is quite huge para sa ganito. 791. So basically, if I were to ask, since marami pa naman tayong option, um, yung iba, 6, 1, 16, 14, then mababa na yung iba. Yung iba, kaya-kaya pang i-compete itong mga reviews na ito. Pero ito, medyo mahihirapan na si, si uh, client na habulin yan. And again, kagaya na sabi ko, medyo related siya sa electronics. So, if kasi simula pa lang nila, pwede nilang iwasan ito. Kasi yung mga somewhere nasa gitna, medyo mababa na talaga yung yung revenue niya. Nasa 8, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1 pababa na. So, basically, itong product na ito, if I were to ask or to, to analyze this, although maganda yung price point niya, but the market itself is hindi ganun ka ganda yung demand nila or yung, yung demand ng product. Right? So, X natin yon um, remove lang natin or maybe ano lang natin hide yan hide natin so next is yoga wheel alright tingnan natin remove na natin sila Amazon yoga wheel and ito yung sample ano nya product price point 36 which is good monthly revenue okay okay na 6000 plus which is yung minimum natin for um, mid competition now let me just tell you na when, when it comes to monthly revenue meron po yung mga kliyente natin meron po yan silang kanya-kanyang uh, target of monthly revenue ito pin itong ano natin example lang to na pinagbabasihan natin para sa sa lesson or sa sa course na ito right so pasok na siya 6000 um yung timbang okay lang 255 um, review count average 87 200 BSR no question sa lahat ng BSR nila um, that's quite ano na kumbaga kayang kaya lang i-compete yung BSR and then dimension tingnan natin sa ano sa actual niya ito yung design niya or parang actual na mukha na yung yoga yoga wheel right tingnan natin 24 Search natin yung ano niya. Main search term. Asa na ba yun? Ayan o. Yoga wheel. The price point is good on average. Makita mo lahat. And, merong iba't ibang sizes. Um, na natin. Try natin i-check yung ano numbers niya. Okay naman yung mga design and prices niya. Um, yung product on page 1 lahat. Makita mo lahat yan. Yoga wheel. And tingnan natin yung anong masasabi ni Chrome extension. Pakita ko lang sa inyo kasi nung ni-research ko to um, finorward ko kasi or fast forward. Kasi matatagalan tayo sa isang buong video kung hindi ko i-fast forward yung ano yung part na yan. Tingnan lang natin kung anong kung, kung meron siyang mabibigay na magandang numbers in terms of you know market level of competency. So, ayan, tingnan natin. Sort out muna natin yung revenue from highest to lowest. Click natin 'yan and then remove natin yung mga sponsored. But I think itong product na ito, this is something na makita ko sa size pa lang niya. I'm assuming na malaki talaga siya. And then for starter sellers, Iwasan natin yung mga malalaking item at mabibigat. Alright? Tingnan natin yung size niya. I think this is extra large ata to. Pero meron siyang mga variation na maliliit lang kung napansin nyo kanina. Pero, parang nakabundle siya into different sizes from small, medium, large. 
and tingnan natin walang ano 4641 um 37 malapit lang 41 37 and then 28 1913 uh, 12 11 10 9 7 uh, 6 5 um medyo okay na yung yung revenue shares niya into a uh, different uh, sellers and then tingnan natin yung price point niya 2459 33 79 79 siguro naka ano yan bundle gaya na tong 59 tingnan natin 79 ayan oh O, naka-bundle siya. Meron siyang small, medium, and large. How, how about itong 59? Ibang design, and itong isa is isa lang siya. So, 24. So, basically, kung magbebenta ka lang ng isa, gaya nito, one, one pieces, I think this is a large one. Um, 2455. Tingnan natin yung size niya. Large nga siya. Large standard size. Kaso, tama lang yung ano, sakto lang yung timbang niya. However, uh, large siya, which is that's something that you should consider as well kasi sa loob ng Amazon warehouse yung binabayaran nyo ron is uh, based doon sa, sa size and weight ng item nyo, kasi meron kayong mga spaces na babayaran doon alright, so kaya napaka importante na dapat i, I take advantage nyo yung, yung space na available na nandun sa inyo or yung space na babayaran nyo Kaya masuggested na sa mga starter na mga seller, um, I, will, I, I, I always highly suggest na kuha mo na sila ng mga item or mag, magbenta mo na sila ng item na, na magaan lang and at the same time, uh, maliit lang yung size. So, but for me, ito, um, this is quite na pwede mo siyang i-consider but depende na lang sa client mo if, you know, gusto na lang yan to. Kasi lahat makikita mo, large standard sizes yun. Merong small, pero... Napakalayo ng ano. Tingnan natin yung difference ng ano niya. Um, around 2,000 or 3,000 monthly revenue. Pero napakababa na ng 3,000. Which is we are targeting around, um, you know, at least minimum 6,000. Alright? So basically, maganda naman siya. Maganda yung market niya. Yung average review, napakababa. Magandang price point. Maganda ang BSR. The average revenue is 6,000. However, um, the problem here is yung yung size niya, alright? And, I'm assuming itong based on the, it, ito yung klase ng product na somewhere na sa mid, ano lang, mid-level uh, competition. Alright? So, pwede dito mo rin mapapansin yung ano niya, yung, yung demand niya. Pero yung yoga, yoga wheel, I think hindi naman siya, ano yan, hindi naman seasonal na product yan eh. So, for the whole year, kahit-kahit ano, kahit-kahit sino, pwedeng bumili ng Nang, ng yoga wheel kasi ginagamit nila yan and any, any time of the day if merong mga uh, customer na yoga ito siyas alright all the time uh, bumaba sila dito around August 29, 2019 let's see mm, tingnan natin 87, 34 um, prices nya okay naman yung prices mm Itong FBAP, just in case na, you know, mag ka, anong ibig sabihin? Ang ibig sabihin itong FBAP, yan yung babayaran nyo sa, sa, sa process na ginagawa ng mga uh, customer employee doon sa kanilang warehouse. Yung pag-pick, pack, and ship, and yung pag-store nyo ng product doon sa kanilang uh, warehouse. So, ito yung babayaran nila. Um, this is each item. So, para sa item na ito, ito. Ang um, itong yoga wheel na ito, they are paying ten dollars and eighty four cents, and then yung price nila is twenty four fifty five. So minus na yan, and then kung ano yung may iwan, yun na lang yung uh, kung magama i uuwi or ma i pay out ng seller. Alright, so tingnan natin. I think mas meron pang mas okay na na, na product dito. Tingnan natin. Kasi in terms of sizes, I think XX out ko na to itong yoga wheel. Although maganda yung ano niya, pero itong yoga wheel para sa mga ano, based on the market, para sa mga experience na seller na. Hide ko na lang muna. Hide row. Yan. So the next one is Chinese Flying Sky Lanterns. Alright. So sa ganito, um, I think ito yung klase na seasonal na product. Yung mga ganito, tingnan natin. Kasi mostly, inaano lang to pag merong mga 
you know, Chinese related celebration or meron silang pinaggagamitan. Ito yung example na product na na pwede mong, you know, dapat iwasan mo kasi parang seasonal to na product to eh. Ginagamit lang siya sa mga big na ano, yung mga malalaking uh, celebrations or events. Unlike ng ano, kung let's say magbebenta ka ng mga uh, birthday or birthday party supplies, well then that's a good example of product na pwede mong ibenta kasi yung mga party supplies mo ibenta yan ng buong ano, hindi yan seasonal. Mo ibenta yan ng buong taon. Evergreen product 'yan. I think hindi ko na anuhin to kasi parang parang seasonal tong product na ito. Tingnan nga natin sa ano um trends.google.com Tingnan ko lang ah kung ano yung ano niya. Sana ba yun wala. Ayun. Tingnan ko lang yung ano niya, trends niya. Paste natin. And then, United States for US for the past 12 months. And let us say, 2014 to present. Actually, wala siyang data. Mm, lagay natin shopping. Google Shopping. Wala, wala siyang enough data. Maybe, ibahin natin. Um, Chinese flying lanterns. Yan, maybe, meron. Ayan. Chinese flying lanterns. Um, let's say for the last five years sa so United States. And wag natin gawin Google Shopping. Gawin natin web search lang. Tingnan natin. 14th. Um, tingnan nga natin for the last 12 months muna. Medyo okay yung demand niya in terms of search volume sa ano. And not, not, not the search volume, but yung, kumbaga, meron siyang potential na maybe meron silang pinag, ibang pinagagamitan sa Chinese Lantern aside from Uh, big events kasi consistent yung pag ano niya babataas babataas per month ayan o January and then February uh, March April May uh, June July August and September and this is for what sa California na data madalas sa California lantern topic sky lantern I think sky lantern yung inahanap nila but anyway this kind of Uh, product, I guess you know I will not be interested for this kasi I think hindi siya ganun ka ano pero kung titingnan natin, try natin tingnan yung ano, market niya baka ano lang ako para ma-narrow down natin ng maayos yung product and then search natin Chinese Sky Lanterns. Ayan. Sky Lanterns. There you go. Ganda yung price. Ang ikanaganda kasi ng product na ito, eh, kumbaga, uh, I'm assuming na magaan lang to. This is a lightweight product lang. Kahit na 20 pieces pa yan or so. And Amazon X-Ray. And then, sort out natin yung revenue. Ayan. Remove the sponsor as always. Yan. Yan. Tingnan natin 27, 27, 25. And then, medyo bumaba siya. 14, and then 8. Halos ka lahat. Um, 7, 5, 5, 6. 7, 5, 6. MFN. So, ibig sabihin niyang F MFN is uh, Merchant Fulfilled Network. So, ibig sabihin niyan, They are an FBM seller. Alright? Fulfilled by merchant. Or merchant fulfilled network. Same lang yan. Meron ding FBA. But kadalasan sa kanila, MFN lahat. 
Parang mga Chinese sellers siguro to. Um, sale 662. Ito yung sales, monthly sales unit. 200. Malaki yung diferensya. 600 plus 600. Then kalahati na. 300, 200, 400, 400, 400. Uh, makita mo sa medyo baba na ng konti. Nasa 100. Uh, plus na lang iba 37 and 200 100 plus 31 hindi ganun kalakas yung ano niya kumbaga consistency sa in terms of numbers of sales units sa Amazon um, the only thing is etong seller na ito they are making a good amount of money for this uh, product but again kung titingnan mo yung sales wala na. Alright? So, as much as possible, magbenta tayo ng product na yung product na makaka-relate lahat. right? Yung product na that solves a problem, yung product na uh, madalas ginagamit ng normal na tao, or araw-araw, yung product na araw-araw ginagamit, or something like that. So, basically, ito, if, if I were to ask uh, to analyze this is, ano, X out ko na to. Alright? Hide natin. So, meron tayong bees, wax, Wraps. So, search natin. Ito yung ano niya. Ito yung product. Example. X muna natin to. Price medyo mababa. 17.53. Average 3,000 plus. Magaan lang siya which is really really good. The average review count napakababa which is a good sign. And maganda yung numbers nila in terms of Uh, monthly sold units. The BSR, no question. And the size as well. Now, the thing here is, tingnan natin yung actual picture niya. Alright? Yung beeswax wraps pala is parang ano siya. Ginagawa siyang parang, ayan, wrap, wrap talaga siya, wrap. Yung parang ganito. Ayan, no? And then, minsan ginagamit siya pang tabon sa mga bowls. And, ang ikinaganda nito is, merong mga beeswax wraps na actually reusable. Yung ginagawa siyang pangtakip. Tingnan natin, ha? Ayun, o. Oh, parang, parang ganito. I'm not sure, pero parang mahilig silang gumamit ng ganito sa United States. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, I think, in, ayun, o. Oh, nahuhugasan pa siya. Reusable siya. <coughs> Excuse me. Tingnan natin. So, tingnan natin. Search natin yung ano niya. Search term. Kasi parang maganda tong product na to. Then, tingnan natin yung ano niya, numbers. Um, 13, 24, um, tingnan natin. Ayan o, oh, gaya na ito, ginagamit siya pang tabon sa, sa uh, mga bowls or something. Ay, kinaganda niya kasi pag tabon mo, na, na-fit talaga siya, namumold mo siya. And then, at the same time, uh, this product is actually reusable. Alright? So, parang ganito, gum- Uh, nag-bundle sila ng ano, silicone leads. Itong silicone leads, kung isa-search mo yan, uh, Amazon.com, parang silicone rubber siya na ginagawa rin pang tabon sa mga bowls. Ayan o, silicone leads. Ayan o. Parang ganyan o. Ito. Itong product na to. Uh, ayan. Yan yung silicone leads. Ang ginawa nila dito, nag-bundle sila Then, ginawa nila ang 26.99. Yung iba, 16, 20, 25, uh, 6 plus 6 pack. Hmm, tingnan natin. Tingnan natin yung number. Numbers niya. And then, yan, x-ray. And, pasensya na kayo kung medyo natatagalan siya kung yung, yung pag, eto itong part ng lang lesson eto. Kasi gusto kong ipakita talaga sa inyo yung actual na na paggawa or yung actual na process ko na ginagawa sa pag-narrow down ng isang uh, or yung mga product na nakita ko para makapili ng isa na pwede natin isource from, uh, you know, China. Alright? So, hintayin lang natin magpapulate lahat ng numbers and then sort out ulit natin. Then, let's see if this is a good product na pwede natin ibenta. Alright? Then, tingnan natin, sort out natin. Then, remove itong sponsored. Alright. So, try natin. Revenue niya, um, eto, itong seller na ito. Tingnan natin. 
Napakalaki ng ano niya. Uh, diferensya. 50, 10, and then the rest are almost the same na. 10, 9, 9, 8, 7. Ang kinaganda nito sa revenue niya, there is only one uh, seller who are actually dominating the sell. And then the rest are actually making about 10 pa baba, 10 to 5 na all ready. Which is something for me, uh, okay lang pasukin. Hindi ganun ka kabigat yung yung level of competence niya kasi isang seller lang naman siya. Right? Unlike kung marami sila dito, like let us say there are 7 or 8 or 10 of them that are actually making uh, 50,000 plus of monthly revenue, then that's something na you know, iwasan mo na lang. Uh, wag mo nang pasukin yung product na yan if you are looking somewhere in the low level or mid level uh, competition. Alright? So, tingnan natin. 10, maganda yung... Okay, okay na. So-so na yung ano niya. Yung, yung sales revenue niya. 8, 9, 10. Pwede tayong pumasok dito. And then, yung numbers of sales units, uh, yung pinakauna, top seller, is 3,000 plus. And then, the, the next is 400, 300, 300, 300, 400, 100, 400, 200. Maganda yung numbers of ano niya. Sales of units every month. Meron siyang potential. Tingnan natin. Mababa lang din yung ibang ano niya, FBA fee, and yung price point 15, 23, 26. Meron na kapag presyo ng 23, 26, 28, 26, um, 42, this is an FBA seller, ano to? Um, tingnan natin. And then, yung weight niya, napakagaan lang, which is very, very good. And yung sizes niya is na size small standard size which is a very good sign um review count napakababa lang din 165 79 etc 145 84 137 um maganda yung review count the price and most of the sellers are actually doing an FBA um let's see yeah i'd like to ganito ganitong klase I'd like to consider this product. Although, sa average niya, 1883 siya. Pero kung titingnan mo yung majority ng mga prices na nasa page 1, uh, nasa top page, uh, yung prices niya is nasa around 20, nasa 20 plus pa rin. 20, 23, 26, 28, 26, 42, and etc. So, gagawin lang natin, if this is something na mapipili natin in the future. I-check lang natin yung mga itong itong mga listing ng competitors na to kung anong ginawa nila, bakit sila nakapagpresyo ng ganyan, 20 plus. And baka meron silang ginawang bundles or how many pieces yung binebenta nila and etc. So we will explore more on that in the future. But this is a good ano na, this is a good example na of uh, competition na medyo light lang, hindi ganoon kabigat kung medyo nasa budget yung uh, kakaunti lang yung budget ni client na i-release para sa kanilang first product or sa kanilang Amazon store, well then, ganitong mga klaseng ano, uh, competition, medyo okay na to. Alright? So, we have considered one already, which is yung Beast Wax Wraps. Alright? So, change color lang natin to para malaman natin. Ayan. Yellow. Now, next is reusable and paper towel. I'm not sure kung ano to o para saan to. Pero, titingnan natin. Right? Tingnan natin, Amazon. Tingnan natin. $20, um, 9,000 average. Magaan lang rin. 187 on average. Uh, review count. Maganda rin yung remand ng monthly sales units niya. Um, BSR, no question. Um, size, I guess this that's a small size. Tingnan natin. Ah, this is a bamboo towel. Kitchen home. Tingnan natin. Search natin yung main ano niya. Reusable. Hindi ko alam kung ito ba yung main na ano niya, search term niya. Kasi hindi ko alam kung para saan or ano tong product na to. Baka ano to, tissue or something. Towel. Mm, tingnan natin hindi ko alam kung para, para saan siya ginagamit pero para siyang towel cloth all purpose towel cloth 
bahan bom material mm, tingnan natin tingnan natin yung numbers so yan tingnan na sort out natin yung revenue and then remove natin tong mga sponsored na makikita natin yan and there you go so sa revenue pa lang napaka ano na sobrang layo na 80 79 37 33 21 19 19 and then the rest are 8 5 6 malayo na ayan oh 8 6 5 4 3 lang sila nakuha ng 8 6 5 4 3 2 and then yung iba 1 then yung iba hundreds of dollars and yung iba napakalayo na wala nang Siguro meron silang revenue pero wala lang ano. Maybe hindi lang na wala pang record si si Helium 10 pero I'm 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 sure na napakababa na ng ano nila revenue nila. So basically kung titingnan ko pa lang kung revenue pa lang yung pagbabasihan ko. This is a very competitive uh, product na you know iwasan na natin as much as possible. Most especially na merong Amazon sellers. Ayano. Oh. AMZ AMZ ibig sabihin yan I mean Napakahirap ng ano niyan, banggain niyan kasi si Amazon na may-ari sa system. So anytime pwede nila i-push yung product nila sa harapan ng customer when they searches for a specific search term or let us say na since sila yung may-ari ng system, so alam nila kung ano yung mga keywords na ginagamit ni customer para sa product na ito. All right? So here um X out na natin agad-agad ito para Ayan, ma-hide na natin. Kasi sa revenue pa lang, walang-wala na. Hide row. Ayan, reusable diaper clothes. So, I'm assuming na napaka-competitive nito. Kasi, common na ano ito eh. Common, napaka-common na product nito. Ayan. Kuha lang tayo ng example. Tingnan natin. And then, ayan o. Oh. Yep, maganda yung ano niya. Maganda yung price point niya. Tingnan na lang natin. Kasi, Meron din ito sa ano eh, dito sa Pilipinas eh. Reusable diaper cloth. Ayan. Bakit merong ano dito? Tingnan natin. Meron pang ganito. Ano to? Sprayer or something. Check natin yung numbers niya ha. Diaper cloth. And. Ayan. Helium 10. And clicks X-ray search. Hinga natin. So makikita mo, uh, ngayon pa lang, ayan o. Oh, hindi pa siya tapos, nagpapopulate pa lang siya. Meron, meron ng 79,053, ayan o. Oh, 20, ayan o. Oh, sinong nagbibenta? Ayan o, oh, AMZ. Si Amazon, 53,000 average monthly revenue. Merong um, third party seller or yung mga independent seller, yung mga FBA which is they are making 79 pero itong 79 sales na ito masasabi mo na na itong brand na ito kilala na ito itong Alva Alva na brand so ibig sabihin noon pag ano ang customer nag-search ng reusable uh, diaper cloth sa Amazon ito yung pinaka unang-unang lalabas sa page 1 uh, sila yung mga pinakaunang kinoconsider ng ng uh, customer and sila yung merong maraming positive reviews and etc. And at the same time, since ganyan kalaki yung revenue nila, sila rin yung merong mga materials to to advertise their uh, product to the customer. Or sila yung merong mga marami silang mga uh, resourceful na ano, kumbaga magagamit nila to 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 boost their uh, product. All right? So, I think hindi ko na itutuloy ito kahit naglo-load pa lang siya kasi kitang-kita naman na you know, iwasan na natin to 70 and 79, merong uh, 53 and 20, 35, ayun o. Oh. So, ayan ah. Subukan kong i-sort out from highest to lowest. And, tingnan natin. Ayan o, oh, napakalaki. 79, 53, 35, uh, 27, 20. And, meron tayong move natin itong sponsored. Ayan. Ayan, para yung Alva lang. 79, 35, 27, 22, 20, 16, um, 12, 
9.87. Actually, maganda naman yung ano niya. Maganda yung market niya. Only if you have enough budget or sa part ng client, if they have enough budget to to level or to compete this market. Ano, merong Amazon seller. Ayan, Amazon. And then Amazon ulit. Ayan, 16.98. So, kahit dito ka lang sa baba muna, yung, yung client, dito lang muna sila sa baba, around 8,000 level na, na revenue, dito muna sila makikumpete. Pwedeng-pwede sa, sa kanila ito. However, yun nga, um, itong mga seller na ito, itong nasa ibabaw, normally, pag ganyan kalaki yung sales revenue nila, that means, yung mga main search terms sa mga sa product na ito, na reusable cloth diapers, they are dominating that already. So, ibig sabihin, pag ang customer nag-search ng reusable diaper cloth, ang pinaka-pinakauna mag appear sa page 1 is yung product nila. And then, yung product mo potentially baka sa ano na, uh, lumabas. Yung product ng client baka nasa somewhere in the page 7, 8, or 10, which is napakalayo na. And then, merong mga customer na tamad na mag-scroll or pumunta sa different pages para maghanap ng product. So, kung ano yung unang lalabas na may merong magandang review, na merong magandang price, kadalasan yun na yung binibili nila. Alright? So, na-gets nyo? Anong ibig sabihin ko? So, I hope clear siya. So, basically, um, X na natin to. Remove. Mm, hide. Yan. So, meron lang tayong dalawa. Palm lip disposable plates. Try natin to. And click natin yung sample product niya. And then, try natin Yan. Mali pang spelling. Yan. Then, search. Tingnan natin. Ang ikinaganda ng product na ito is uh, eco-friendly siya. And at the same time, uh, it solved a problem. The main reason is Yun nga, eco-friendly eco, eco nga siya kasi itong product na ito is made out of palm leaf which is pag tinapon mo siya anywhere babalik lang ulit siya sa lupa. Kung baga ma, 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 ano lang siya, ma-decompose lang siya. Wherein unlike yung mga normal na mga party plates like yung mga styrofoam na party plates, mga plastic na, na uh, disposable pork and uh, tawag nito, pork and spoon and knife. Those are plastic materials. Now, ang ikinaganda ng product na ito is palm lip disposable plate siya made out of uh, dahon. And then, itong uh, knife, pork and spoon nila is actually made out of bamboo uh, material. So, ibig sabihin nun, napaka ano niya, napaka ng product, napaka eco-friendly niya. Now, the thing here is, Gano'ng kaganda yung demand niya doon sa mga parameters na pinagbabasihan natin. So, yun yung titingnan natin ngayon. Alright? So, search natin siya. Nawala. <laughs> search natin ulit. And, tingnan natin yung ano niya. Itong product, review ng product na ito. Medyo mabigat nga lang siya. Yun nga yung pinagkaano niya. 5 pounds. Pero, if merong magandang numbers dito, why not? 87%. Uh, halos 5 star lahat. Ayan. Click mo lang yon and mapupunta ka sa mga 5 star reviews. Tingnan natin to. Kasi this is a very good alternative na ano eh, sa, sa mga sa mga plastic and styrofoam na na party uh, dinner wares. Alright? Lalo na ngayon na napaka ano ng ano, yung global issue about uh, using plastics yung mga straws and etc cellophane um 16 19 38 34 ito yung mukha ng product halos the same lang sila lahat these are all made of palm leaf uh, disposable plates so tingnan natin um tingnan natin bakit napakabigat ng isa i think Umabot siya ng 5 pounds. Ilang ano ba to? Bundle. Ay, napakarami pala niya. Kaya pala. 
150 eco-friendly dinnerware, 50 disposable plates, uh, that's 8 inches, and 50 wood forks and spoon, 50 wood knives, etc. 150 pala siya lahat. So, tingnan natin yung ano niya, uh, market niya. Alright? Click natin to, uh, Amazon X-Ray, and then click X-Ray Amazon. So, ayan, sort out natin yung revenue, tingnan natin. Makita mo yung average review niya na napakababa. <laughs> However, yung uh, revenue uh, level niya, yung earnings, is medyo mataas. Tingnan natin. Alright? So, eto. FBA, FBM seller, merong Amazon, etong Cater Echo na brand, which is they are making 24,000. Uh, Alright? So, it doesn't mean na merong Amazon dyan or Amazon seller. It doesn't mean na hindi mo na sila, you know, pwedeng matalo. Kagaya nito, even though merong Amazon but still, who is the top seller? This is a third-party seller or an FBA seller who is actually making about 44 or almost 45,000 on average monthly revenue. Yung brand niya is Pure Palm. Um, tingnan natin. Hmm. 40, uh, 30, 24, 19, somewhere here, um, 18, 18, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, kung makikita mo, napakarami nilang seller who are making around, ayan o, oh, lagyan natin 13, 11, 9, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 3, and etc. Then, yung demand niya, there's a good demand kung mapapansin mo yung graph niya. Ayan, o. Oh. Nagiging, ano na siya, nagiging consistent siya. Gaya na itong 13,000. Tingnan natin. For the last one year, uh, bumaba sila dito. Maybe they run out of stock. Ano, na naubusan nga sila ng stock. Ayan, o. Oh. Zero sales na. Hanggang then, umakyat ulit sila. Ayan. And then, ito yung part na naubusan ng stock. Tingnan natin. Mababa yung review. Review count niya. Tingnan natin. One Napakababa ng review count, which is a very, very good sign. Um, nasa mga around 100 plus lang on average. Alright. Actually, 51 nga lang on average. Then, yung price niya, maganda rin. 23.69. Then, kung titingnan natin yung price niya, um, yung ibang, ano, ibang seller, price 22, 15, 38, 21. Uh, this is an Amazon seller. 10.98. Ilang lang ba yung ibenta nila? 7 inches, 25 pieces lang. Uh, 25 pieces na plate. And itong top seller, tingnan natin. Palmly friendly, um, 10 square, 25 piece. 25 pieces pa rin naman, pero nakapapresya siya ng 22.99. And they are making about 44. So, ito yung napakamabentang klase ng ano. Tingnan natin. Klase ng parang sa mga ano, dirty eater, yung pang ano, budol-budol nakainan tingnan ko lang um, okay yung review count niya and then yung sales um napaka competitive 1000 2000 2000 1000 2000 1000 um 380 and etc tingnan natin 22 15 38 I think we can work on this kasi ang ikinaganda kasi ng product na ito is especially ngayon sa sa, sa mga taon ngayong mga ano uh, sitwasyon and for the next coming years mas lumalaki yung nagiging issue nila about uh, plastic pollution. So basically merong future sa product na ito that is actually coming pa lang kasi Actually, inuunti-unti na nila eh. Meron akong nakitang, kung pupunta ka sa Amazon, sa US, pinagbawal na kasi nila yung paggamit ng, ng plastic straws. 
So, ang ginagamit na lang nila doon, um, meron silang ginagamit na reusable straw, either silicone type na straw or stainless straw. So, search natin, reusable uh, straws. Ayan, o. Oh. Ito na yung ginagamit nila sa United States. Sa pagkakaalam ko, pinagbabawalan na sila gumamit ng plastic straw. Bin binana doon kasi yung nga dahil sa plastic pollution na napupunta sa dagat. Now, that goes the same thing with this, ano, um, itong disposable plate. So, makikita mo yung revenue niya. Maganda naman yung ano niya. Maganda yung revenue na. Manageable lang yung revenue na, which is around 30, uh, 24, 24, 19. Hindi ganun ka, ano, kumbaga, hindi ganun kabigat kung mid-level competition ang ang uh, pag-uusapan. 13, 11, and then kung makikita mo yung somewhere below middle na sa mga 9, 8 pa rin, 7, 6. So pwede pa tayong ano, kung baga sa part ng client, maybe slowly uh, targetin muna natin tong mga below 6, 7, 8, 9. Dito muna tayo makipag-compete. And pag naging stable na dito, pwede natin umakyat ng kakaunti. Punta tayo dito sa somewhere in 11, 13, 18. And you know, hanggang sa sumikat yung brand, yung quality ng product, the price, and it, cetera. Kasi napaganda ng BSR din niya and the average uh, monthly revenue, which is something na pasok na pasok sa dun sa, sa parameters natin. Uh, two stars, which is a good sign. Napakababa ng review count on average, which is 51. And let's see. I think I can consider this. Check pa natin ng maigi. Ang ikinaano lang niya, nasa under siya sa large standard na size. And then at the same time, uh, yung weight niya kasi dito, iba-iba to Kasi iba-ibang bundle yung binibenta ng mga seller dito. So, this is something itong weight. This is something na we will dig deep more kung ano yung magandang weight or ano yung magandang bundle na bumibenta talaga. Alright? Kasi what, what really matters kasi sa ila, if, even if medyo mabigat yung product, let us say, umabot, yung target natin is 3 pounds, and then, yung product na merong magandang market is naging uh, 4 pounds yung product na yun, so, may, kumbaga, flexible yung parameters natin. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung ano yung set na parameters doon, yun talaga ang pagbabasihan. Ibig sabihin nun, pag sinabi kong flexible, pwede mo siyang i-flex as long as yung product na yun is meron talagang potential na uh, profitability sa market. Kasi what really matters to them is the, the profit. Kagaya na ito, meron siyang, meron siyang demand. Meron siyang magandang demand. Kung mapapansin mo na marami silang, ano, marami silang seller, ano, but still, yung mga other seller na somewhere in the middle, middle they are still making about 9,000, 8,000 per month, 7,000, 7,600, and etc. Which is something na pasok sa parameters natin kasi we are targeting about 6,000 and 14,000 or maybe 15,000 uh, for a mid-level competition. Lagay lang natin dito 15,000, right? So, I think I can consider this product the fact that meron siyang potential uh, future uh, demand. So, it is a very good advantage na makaposition ka sa demand na yun bago pa siya dumating. Alright? Actually, ngayon, meron na nga eh. Mer meron na siya. It's just that pag dumating yung panahon na uh, sa United States na iba na, lin iba na rin nila yung, yung mga uh, plastic na pun spork, ah, pun spork, pun uh, pork and knife, yung mga plastic material na yun. Pag, pag dumating ang araw na yun na rin ang iba ba nila, right next to plastic straw, then dyan na papasok ito, itong ganitong klaseng product and you have to prepare for that. Alright? So I think I will consider this and tingnan natin ano pang meron tayo. I hope na gets nyo yung point ko doon. When it comes to analyzing the ano, analyzing the market, you have you really have to know uh, the, what's what's this product really all about, alright? Tingnan natin uh, mid century uh, plant stand. I think maganda rin tong product na ito. So tingnan lang natin. Yellow muna natin to para may pagpipilian pipilian tayo mamaya. So, meron lang tayo yung iisa. So pipili lang tayo ng um, isang product dito. Search natin. Mid-century plant stand. Ayan. Mm, tingnan natin. Ito. 
Actually, maganda yung product na to. Tingnan natin yung ano niya, numbers niya. Tingnan natin. Yan. Then, click natin. So, ayan. Tingnan natin. Sort out natin yung revenue from highest to lowest. Um, tingnan natin. Napakalaki ng ano neto. Remove muna natin yung sponsor na yun, no? 147 yung nagtatapuan. Pero tingnan natin kung uh, mid-century plan stand nga ba yung binibenta niya. Baka kasi hindi. Kasi merong mga product na naliligaw. 147,000 um, yes. Pero parang yung ano lang niya. Pot lang niya. Marble pot. Ayan o. Fox and Fern. 10 inch. Plant pot fits mid-century. Yep, yung pot lang ang binibenta niya. Which is, um, yung sadya natin is yung stand mismo. Yung, yung ano, yung, yung wooden stand. So, X out natin tong 147. Kasi, hindi yan yung gusto natin ibenta. So, the next one is, eto. Eto yung sadya natin. Napakala, napakal, napakalayo. Ayan o, 99, 95, 71, 21, 19. Napakalayan ng diferensya, itong tatlong ano, seller, 99, 71, and then biglang naging 21, 19, 18, 17, 16, 8, 9, 6, and then up to 1, and a hundreds. Then kadalasan pa dito sa ibaba, puro ng mga sponsored kasi baka ano, kakalunch pa lang. Kakalunch pa lang ng product, and then nagraran sila ng Amazon Advertising. 2000 Well, ay napakaano ng product na to. Maganda siya. Meron siyang ano, meron siyang demand. However, uh, dahil sa meron siyang malaking demand, ikaw as a new seller na papasok sa product na ito, you also have to prepare a good amount of money para makipagkumpetensya sa sa product na ito. And ang masama pa Ayan, yun yung bumibenta ng 95,000. Si Amazon ang nagbibenta. And ang isa, FBM seller. Alright? Although maganda yung ano niya, average review count niya, average price, the BSR, and the average revenue. However, kung titingnan mo isa-isa yung revenue niya sa bawat seller, 99, 95, 71, 21, 19, 18, 18. Medyo napakompetitive nitong dalawang sa ibabaw. Pero, Pwede pa rin naman tong pasukin if dito nyo lang plan, plano, dito lang somewhere sa baba uh, makipag uh, compete. Okay pa rin. Tingnan natin yung ano niya. Um, this is a large standard size. Um, dimension weight. Sakto lang yung timbang niya. Pasok. The review count to 200, 700, 201. Um, then the rest are manageable. Napakababa na ng review count which is Really good to compete. BSR revenue sales six thousand plus one thousand one thousand sales unit plus almost two thousand per month. Seven hundred eight hundred. Napakano? Napaka competitive ng product nito. Kasi ayon, umabot ng four hundred plus monthly sold unit three hundred. Maganda, maganda pasukan tum product nito. However, the the client need to prepare. A very ano mag magandang ano saktong amount of investment para pantayan yung existing market na nandirito. Kasi the way how Amazon works is actually based on the demand and supply on iya specific keywords. Tere sa dito sa mid century plant stand. Now sa loob ng Amazon yung Search term na mid-century plant stand, meron yung level of competency. So, ang ibig sabihin ko doon sa, sa level of competency is that how many people are actually searching for that mid-century plant stand and at the same time, out of those numbers of searches, ilang, ilang customer yung nag-convert sa sale. So, what I'm trying to say is, let us say, There is 1,000 people na ginamit yung search term na mid-century plan stand and 
yung 1,000 people na yun, eh, 90% nag nag nag-convert. Let us say, 900 of them bumili ng mid-century plan stand. So, ganun yung ano niya. Ganun yung, ganun yung, kumbaga, magiging demand niya. So, ibig sabihin nun, if yung keyword na yan, ganun kalaki yung, yung ano niya, ganun ka-relevant yung, yung search term niya, na pag nag-search ang customer niyan, eh, may bumibili. Ibig sabihin nun, kung merong 900 900 katao na bumili, yun yung hahabulin mo na market as a new seller. You need to 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 make a sale as well na ganun karami bago ka mapunta sa page 1 or mapantayan itong mga revenue na nakukuha nila. Alright? So, I hope na clear yung pagkaka-explain ko and um, in case na if not, well then just let me know. We will answer that to our uh, live sessions or maybe you can let us know sa group para mas maipaliwanag ko ng maayos in written form. Alright? So, basically, kung itong product na to, napakalaya na ang competi competitive niya or your, yung, yung level of competition niya. So, I will exclude this one. Although maganda yung market niya, just like what I've mentioned, but again, you have to prepare a good amount of money for this. Alright? So, now, we do have two from here and yung pipiliin lang natin is iisa lang. Alright? So, tingnan natin. Review natin tong dalawa. Um, X moon natin to. Um, Beeswax wraps. Medyo mababa. 17. 3, 1. Um, balansihin natin. Yung Beeswax wraps kasi is marami siyang pwedeng maging ano, maging alternative na pang na pang balot. All right? Although maganda yung demand niya sa ano, tingnan natin. Ulitin ko lang, ulitin natin para mas ma-funnel ma natin ng maayos yung ano. All right? Bees wax rubs. Marami kasing pwedeng maging alternative na ano eh, na, na pambalot nito eh. Wherein, unlike dito sa sa pound lip disposable plates, yes, there is also an alternative for this, which is yung mga existing products na, na mga plastic and styrofoam na party plates. However, the, the, the very huge difference between the two is, itong pound lip disposable plates is ano siya, aside from eco-friendly, good for the earth, um, maganda rin yung, kumbaga, parang design niya, in terms of design, mas, kumbaga, for me, mas, dese mas desente siyang tingnan. Alright? Mas, mas maganda siyang tingnan sa mata. And at the same time, if we will going to check the reviews of these products, I'm assuming na merong magagandang reviews to. Alright? So, check natin and we will compare between the two and pagpipilian natin. But based from here, merong magandang price point yung ano, itong pound net disposable plates and at the same time, merong magandang average monthly revenue which is pasok na pasok sa ating pinagbabasihan. And, the weight is, although mas mabigat siya compared sa beeswax wrap, however, still, pasok pa rin siya sa atin kasi maximum natin, 3 pounds eh. Alright? And then, the review count, Medyo sakto lang silang dalawa. Uh, parehas silang maganda ang competition sa review counts. Napakababa ng review count. Ibig sabihin nun, kayang-kaya lang i-compete. So, meron siyang 49 and 54 review count. The more na mas mababa yung review count, the more na much better siyang i-compete. Kasi pag marami na yung review, let us say 500 plus or 1,000 reviews, then that means yung product na yun meron ng social proof or proven demand. Alright? Monthly sold units, okay na. The BSR, again, no question. Ang diferensya lang nila is itong uh, dimension, the size. So, gaya nga nang sabi ko, what really matters to them is the profitability. So, kahit na medyo nabilong siya sa, sa, sa malaking size, we can still consider this product. Alright? So, ako, if I were to ask in terms of revenue, since yung revenue yung Yung revenue naman talaga yung importante sa kanila. Revenue, the selling price. Um, okay yung weight. Uh, review count, napakababa, which is very, very good. Between the two, 
beeswax wraps or palm leaf disposable plates i guess i will go with no not i guess but this is a data driven uh uh decision all right this is not a guesswork or sige ito na lang siguro baka bumenta to no you should not do that practice kasi it doesn't work that way inside Amazon. Amazon is a data-driven business. Alright? You should decide based on the data. Not, ano, yung hula-hulaan mo lang. Alright? So, for me, um, hide na natin tong ano. Huwag na natin i-validate itong beeswax wraps and we will go ahead now with the uh, palm lip disposable plates which is very, very good. And, uh, eto na nga. Meron siyang magandang demand. However, the competition is not really that low. But somewhere in the mid-competition. But still, meron siyang magandang demand. Yun nga sinasabi ko. High demand and with... Nasa mga medium competition siya. Since yung medium yung hinahanap natin na product. Medium competition. But as much as possible, pag nakakita ka ng product na merong high demand with low competition and maganda yung profitability numbers niya, well then definitely go with that product as long as maganda yung mga numbers na pinapakita niya. Alright? So, we have decided already um, product na isusource out natin sa China, itong palm lip disposable plates, but we are not done yet. Kasi we will still going to find out kung anong design yung pipiliin natin na ibibenta. It's either square or maybe circle or anong klaseng uh, design yung me medyo decente ba? Uh, gaya na ito. Tingnan natin, ha? Reload lang natin. Yung medyo decente ba tingnan? Or yung uh, isang klase na medyo parang pang uh, pang piyesta-piyesta? Yung pang budol-budol na ano? Tingnan natin. Fun lip disposable plates. Ayan, ha? Ayan, o. Oh, ito yung mga malinis tingnan. Decente. And etong square plates and etc. So those are the things that we will consider pa and how many pieces ang ibebenta natin, anong klasing bundle and etc. So basically since nakapili tayo ng product, palm leaf disposable plates, the next thing na gagawin natin is ano yung specification ng palm leaf disposable plates na ibebenta natin. Na siguradong uh, uh, merong magandang demand na siguradong customer will like this kind of design, the color and the bundle and at the same time with the price. So those are some of the things na pag-uusapan natin on the next one. So definitely, um, that's it for now. Kung medyo, manata medyo natagalan ka sa lesson na ito, but, uh, pagpasensya mo na. But that is just how really it is. Kasi kung, kung mamadaliin ko, hindi mo matututunan and... Uh, you know, masasayang lang panahon mo sa pag-enroll ng course na ito nang walang matututunan. And it doesn't make any sense as well kung kung hindi ko i-explain ng maayos yung yung ganitong part na lesson kasi napaka-importante po talaga nito na maintindihan mo as an Amazon uh, virtual assistant. Kasi unang-una, yung pinaka-main goal ko dito ay matuto ka. Alright? Yung matuto ka at pag meron ka ng or naghahanap ka na ng client, you know how to talk to a client kasi alam niyo yung pinag-uusapan niyo. Meron kang alam sa pinag-uusapan niyo. And 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 um, based on my experience, pag meron kang alam sa pinag-uusapan niyo, pag nakikipag kaya mong makipagsabayan sa pinag-uusapan niyo sa client, mas madaling i-close yung deal at mas nakakapag-rate ka ng maganda. All right? So that's it for now and I'll see you on the next one and I hope that you have learned something from this and just in case my question ka just let me know or Pwede mong paulit-ulitin tong video na to. Alright? So, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.